Assalamu alaikum friends, and welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Invest in Your Health. Today our topic is, Meat Allergy, the Alpha-Gal Syndrome. Meat Allergy, the Alpha-Gal Syndrome, explores a unique and rising health concern linked to red meat consumption. Alpha-Gal Syndrome, triggered by a tiny tick, can turn a typical carnivore into someone allergic to meat. This severe allergy has potentially lifelong impacts on patients. With growing evidence suggesting this is more widespread than previously thought, awareness about this meat allergy becomes crucial. The video delves into the details of this syndrome, its effects, and the importance of prevention and management. Alpha-Gal syndrome AGS, is a distinctive and significant food allergy that has become increasingly prevalent in public health due to its far-reaching and severe health impacts. This unique condition, derived from a carbohydrate called alpha-galactose, alpha-gal, can incite an allergic reaction to mammalian meat products. As stated by Ann Carpenter, an epidemiologist with the Epidemic Intelligence Service at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, AGS is an important emerging public health problem, which holds potential lifelong health repercussions for some patients. This underlines the critical need for medical professionals to be aware of AGS in order to accurately evaluate, diagnose, manage, and educate their patients. Comprehensive patient education is vital, particularly concerning tick bite prevention, as this can aid in protecting individuals from developing this complex allergic condition. The average American consumes substantial amounts of beef, nearly 60 pounds per capita annually, which amounts to more than a quarter pound hamburger every other day. However, this meat loving tendency may be threatened by an insurmountable obstacle, the lone star tick. Named for the distinctive white dot on the back of the female tick, this tiny but aggressive species can transmit a sugar known as alpha gal through its saliva. This sugar can induce alpha gal syndrome in some individuals, causing them to develop severe allergic reactions to red meat. Alpha-Gal syndrome is characterized by an array of symptoms that typically appear two to six hours after the consumption of beef, pork, and other mammalian products. Symptoms range from hives, nausea, heartburn, and diarrhea, to difficulty breathing and a drop in blood pressure. The most severe cases may cause anaphylactic reactions, a life-threatening allergic response that necessitates immediate medical attention. Therefore, many AGS patients carry an epinephrine auto-injector, commonly known as an EpiPen, for use in emergency situations. The link between AGS and ticks was first discovered in 2011, marking a significant turning point in our understanding of the syndrome. Since then, the scientific and medical communities have embarked on extensive research to further investigate and understand the condition. Over the past decade, there have been more than 110,000 suspected cases of alpha-gal syndrome. However, recent research published by the CDC suggests that this figure significantly underestimates the actual prevalence of the condition. New CDC research estimates that the actual number of AGS cases between 2010 and 2022 may be as high as 450,000 individuals. This figure is significantly larger than previously suspected and emphasizes the growing prevalence of this syndrome. Dr. Jeffrey Wilson, an allergist and immunologist with the University of Virginia Health System, opined that the CDC's report represents one of the best attempts to understand the real epidemiology of alpha-gal syndrome. If the CDC's estimates are accurate, AGS would rank as the 10th most common food allergy in the United States, signifying it as a substantial public health concern. Although AGS can have severe implications for those affected, it does not always last for life and can be effectively managed. The principal management strategy involves avoidance of red meat, which can alleviate symptoms and prevent severe allergic reactions. However, this strategy can represent a significant lifestyle change, particularly for individuals and societies with high red meat consumption habits, such as the United States. Consequently, the management of AGS is more than just a dietary consideration, it is a vital health measure to prevent potentially life-threatening reactions. It is essential for healthcare professionals to be aware of AGS in order to properly evaluate, diagnose, manage, and educate their patients. Additionally, 
patient education, particularly among individuals living in areas with high tick populations, is critical for tick bite prevention and early symptom recognition. Moreover, as AGS becomes a more prevalent health issue, the need for more widespread public awareness becomes crucial. With the potential to affect large segments of the population, understanding AGS and its impacts are of paramount importance to our public health landscape. In conclusion, alpha-gal syndrome represents an emergent public health concern that warrants increased attention and awareness from the medical community and the general public. As the link between tick bites and this distinctive food allergy continues to solidify, the urgency for bolstering preventive measures and public education escalates. Ongoing research is needed to fully comprehend AGS, its origins, and its long-term implications for those affected. As our understanding of the syndrome expands, so does our capacity to manage, treat, and mitigate the potential life-altering impact of this condition. As we conclude our discussion on alpha-gal syndrome, it's clear that this tick-induced meat allergy is an emerging health issue that we must pay attention to. Understanding and awareness are our strongest weapons in managing its effects and safeguarding our health. As ongoing research continues to unveil more about this condition, let's remain vigilant, stay informed, and take necessary precautions. Remember, health isn't merely about disease-free living, it's about comprehensive well-being. Stay healthy, stay safe.